Thank you for joining us here on Fox 10. I'm Nicholas Herboso. A clear start to our day today. Very sunny, very humid out there. Our feels like temperatures will be going up as we get into the afternoon, possibly topping out into the low 100s, possibly even 110 to 115 in some areas higher than even these numbers on the map here. Here's a look at the forecast heat index across the area. Now this thing has 107 in Mobile, but we have the possibility of seeing heat index values going all the way up to 110 maybe 113, maybe even 115 in the western half of the area. This is with an excessive heat warning. We've had a few of those the past few days. The criteria today, 113 to 115 from Clark County all the way down to Jackson County. Notice Coastal Mobile County is not in this warning because it looks like they're going to be kept a little bit cooler as a result of the water. The water temperature in the low 80s right now. For the rest of the area, it's a heat advisory. We could still see heat index values all the way up to 112 degrees. That's a very sticky heat. That is a very oppressive heat across the entire area. So be prepared for that. Now with these advisories and warnings, Really what we're indicating is an increased risk for potential heat illness. That's talking about your heat stroke, something like that. So whenever it's this hot, it really limits your ability to do outdoor activities and can be dangerous to sensitive groups. Some of the main things that you can do stay hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated. Avoid outdoor activities if possible, find a way to get into the AC, and then as always, check on your friends, check on your relatives, check on your neighbors, and don't forget about your pets. In fact, pretty much after 10 a.m. or actually even 9 a.m., you probably don't need to be doing any walking on pavement, especially because the pavement temperatures can get very hot. I'm talking up to 130, 140 degrees in some spots So if, if you're in direct sun. It can be very dangerous for the pet. Also, no pets left in cars, and that's an always thing. Now, if you're down at the beaches, it's also going to be hot. In fact, heat index values could reach the triple digits down at the beaches, but we will have a little bit of a breeze off the water, so that will be kind of a saving grace there. Rip current risk also fantastically low. Surf is very, very low down there at the beaches, and it will stay low for the next few days. Surf height only around the foot right now, and as we get towards the 4th of July, we're keeping a low risk for rip currents. However, you must pay attention to those local beach flags because they can change quickly. Always pay attention to what the lifeguards are saying and pay attention to those posted signs. Over the next four days, temperatures begin to take a smidgen of a drop. <laughs> I mean, it's from 98 to 94. But as we get towards 4th of July, an afternoon rain chance possible, likely fading. Any showers fading in the evening hours. Perfect timing for fireworks on 4th of July. Here's a look at the extended temperatures here. And you notice a trend overall down. What about the rain chances? The trend overall up. We're having a bit of a pattern change finally getting rid of the heat dome that we've been talking about. Heat dome slightly moves off to our east and weekends and we have moisture returning into the area from the Gulf of Mexico. You can see high available moisture here on the bright colors indicating that we could have more easier potential for thunderstorms as we get towards the back half of next week. We're talking Thursday and Friday. In fact, some of those rain chances will be quite high. We're talking 50% 60% as we get into Thursday and Friday and looking at the full extended outlook. What do we have for you? Those temperatures getting to more around average by the end of next week. We're talking low to mid 90s, low temperatures in the middle 70s. Rain chances coming up as we get into the end of next week.